All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, when we are looking into doing a problem like this, um, what we're basically looking into doing is identifying a fraction and rewriting that fraction as a decimal and as a percent. All right. Now, when looking at writing a fraction from a decimal, um, this should be the one you're most familiar with because basically we know that 7 does not divide into 4. So to, to divide this, I'm going to obtain a decimal um, as my answer. So to go from a fraction to a decimal, basically I need to apply long division. 7 divided into 4. All right, so we're going to go back into practicing our long division with decimals. Now, 7 does not go into 4, so therefore I write a decimal point. Then I bring in, once I create a decimal point, I can add in my zeros. 7 does go into 40. It goes in there 5 times. 5 times 7 is 35. Subtract. Subtract the two numbers, which is going to give me 5. 7 does not go into 5, so I bring down another 0, which is 50. 7 does go into 50 7 times. Now, when we are converting from a fraction to a decimal, all I am going to be concerned about is that you guys, you have a fraction to your hundreds. All right? So my decimal is 0.57. All right? Now, the last thing is we need to rewrite it as a percent. And what percent means is portion out of 100. All right? How much out of 100? So basically, ladies and gentlemen, 0.57, all we simply need to do to write a decimal to a percent is just multiply by 100, which is going to move the decimal point over two units, which is going to equal 57%. Okay, So to go from a decimal to a percent, just multiply by 100%, and then that gives you 57%. Anybody have any questions on that? No? It's fairly basic. I think the hardest thing for most students to get is going